Good morning, everybody. Welcome in for some more Terra Invicta. So, relatively new campaign with the initiative. We're about, oh, five months into the campaign, something like that. Kind of taking everything that we learned from the resistance campaign and trying to apply it to a new one and see if we can have a bit more success. I thought the resistance campaign went really well, and obviously it's not over, but it's looking more and more like the aliens are going to uh, to blow that one up. So I'll probably play that off stream while I take some lessons learned from that campaign and apply it here. Housekeeping stuff, if you're new here, stumbled across the channel, you please hit that subscribe button for me. It does help grow the channel. It doesn't cost you anything. Questions and comments down below, hit that notification bell, all of that good stuff that you do on YouTube. So where we're at right now, and the plan that I've started with so far, and I I feel like this is probably going to be my strategy for most campaigns. The first thing I do is I grab Singapore, and I immediately just turn it to spoils. And you can see why, because our cash reserves are pretty amazing, considering that we're six months into the game. And you can get it up to like 8K um, in the first two or three months and start spending that on any orgs that might be available, which is really, really nice. And it's not like you have to do anything with it, you know, get it. You don't have to worry about um, performing any missions or doing anything except for essentially robbing it blind, which also pretty in keeping with the initiative anyway. Then I grab Kazakhstan for the boost, obviously. This one I am going to work on keeping, so I'm doing missions here to get the uh, the unrest down. And then once that's done, we'll actually set these uh, priorities. I think this is probably where we're going to go with it. We'll keep it at high boost, high knowledge to uh, get the inequality down if we can. And we'll start making it on its way to authoritarian. But the boost there early game is just too good to take or to not take. And then lastly, I started because I was going to focus on the U.S. again for this campaign. So what I did last time I went into Canada and uh, kind of came down from there, but it doesn't really make sense to go to Canada, I don't think, because the population is so low. Uh, Mexico, I think, presents a much better opportunity for growth. And because you still have the border um, shared with the U.S., it makes it easier to break into the U.S. And if you're not aware... Just go into the codex and you can look at your missions here. Missions right there. So if you look at control nation, here are the things that need to be high, essentially, for you to have an easier time taking control, especially of the larger nations. And then these are your, your negative modifiers over here. So control, control points and neighbors is a big one. Um, so grabbing Mexico, it has more control points than Canada. It has a larger population and it, I think it makes it easier to break into the U S if you go Mexico instead of Canada. Now, obviously because it has more control points and you're taking those, it's taking away some of your CP cap. So when you are ready to break into the U S you're going to have to either give those up or wait until you develop more CP. You can see we're already capped out. Um, I've barely got enough to take the fourth point. So I'm probably going to have to release Mexico, but mission accomplished. We've we've broken into the U.S. that way. Um, we've also managed to get the unrest down from 4.2, I think, so far to 2.6. Um, and even after we release Mexico, we'll be coming back to retake it once we get our CP up. I've been really unlucky this campaign with orgs. Uh, they've all been really expensive persuasion orgs, which early on persuasion is kind of at a premium and it's not really until the later game where you start building that stuff up and have too much to know you to know what to do with so been really unlucky with my orgs unfortunately these are the only two that have popped up that i've actually been able to uh to use so no administrative orgs which if you get lucky enough to get those early game it's really helpful because it bumps your cp cap up significantly so i'm keeping my fingers crossed that we still manage to get an administrative organ there relatively shortly. One thing I am trying to do is finish management research just to bump up that CP cap just a little bit more. 
before I go full on control of the U S because I I'd like to hang on to Mexico if possible, but it's not looking good. And then as far as leveling up, we've got a couple that are just about ready. I'm not really thrilled with this guy here and I'd like to get rid of him at some point, but I haven't seen anybody else pop up in the recruitment pool that might be worth taking. Although this celebrity might not be terrible. I do like to have one criminal because obviously some of the orgs can only go to a criminal. Yeah, and I think he's my only criminal. The other big problem I have with him is his loyalty is zero, and this is the first time I've worked with somebody whose loyalty is zero, so I'm not, I'm not sure how well that's going to work out for me. I don't know how often the, uh, the candidate pool refreshes itself either. Is anybody in here a striver? Doesn't look like it. Yeah. I really didn't luck out with my candidate pool for this particular campaign. I just kind of, I'm taking the best of what was available. So I think I'll probably keep him for a little bit. One thing I should do. Is he the one I equip the orgs to? Yeah, I put a couple of orgs on him and it kind of makes me a little bit worried. Um, the other thing is he's 56, so we're definitely going to be getting rid of this guy. I don't want to invest too much into him. Which is another reason why I would like an administrative org, so that when we dump this guy, we, um, we have an organization we can put on the new counselor. So anyway, that is where we are for the start. So our, our research is doing fairly well, and that's obviously because we have three control points in the US already, which has high knowledge, so high research, good boost, uh, decent, decent amount of mission control already. And then as far as research goes, I haven't done a lot of my individual product um, projects, but the, uh, the major projects have already started here. So they've already taken, actually, I'm the one who did advanced chemical rocketry. I'm not going to lead this. Um, I am trying to catch up to them in mass drivers so I can control the next tech that is selected here. So we'll see how that goes, but we're ready for when this is done to send a probe to the moon and then get a, a hab set up there as quickly as possible. We want to get the best possible site on the moon. Not that we're going to keep it for the long term, but it's a good jumping off point for later on. So we're at 114, they're at 190. This is in March. We might be able to catch them. Because they are investing over here, but not a lot. This one might actually be the better one to invest in now that I think about it since it has just started. At 10 per day. I can't tell if that's one or two days that's ticked off. One thing that is a problem, though, is it's really early for a mission to the moon to be researched already because uh, high thrust probes haven't been researched yet. So it's going to be interesting to see who gets to the moon first with uh, the technology selection that's been going. So let's go ahead and start moving forward again. Now, the question I have for myself here is, do I want to try and take that fourth CP? Because at 27, that's going to put me 10 over the cap, 12 over the cap. 
So either I have to release Mexico and take full control of the U.S. Releasing Mexico will give me 26.52 back, which means I could take I could take the next two points, but I would not be able to take full control until we get our CP up. So we're definitely going to have to get lucky with some orgs. So I think that's what we'll do. We'll go ahead and we'll take control of the U.S. We're at 58 influence. We can get this up to 86 is good. The op is a public campaign. How are we doing over here? Yeah, let's actually have him do... Because we do want to get Kazakhstan under control. While the U.S. is more important to us right now. I think we're done in Mexico at this point. We're going to have him do surveillance over here now. Oh, he can't. I forgot. He. This is another reason why I, got, I want to get rid of him. He has non grata. No, it's not non grata. It's something else that prevents him from going to the U.S. to perform missions. I'm not sure which one it is. Because non grata would be for China. Oh, cannot perform missions in rivals of my home nation. That's why. So in that case, I don't really know what... To, I, I think I just have to release him. He's kind of useless to me. As much as I want to have a criminal, it's so early game and I don't want to invest points in this guy that we aren't going to use. So we'll we'll pick up one of the other counselors. Now this is going to hurt my CP cap as well cuz he's got 9, 10, 11, 12 points that are contributing to that. But there's just too much he's bad at, and his loyalty is so low that I don't know if I'd be comfortable hanging on to him for the long term. So yeah, that already dropped me down to 170. I think I might let this go one more cycle before I pick somebody up. Like, this one's not terrible. But again, not a criminal. Does have government, which is good. Another one with a super low apparent loyalty, which I don't know how big a deal that is, but I hate doing it. And of course, everybody else costs 60 anyway, so we'd have to wait till next turn to hire any of these others. Here's another one that's not terrible. Is also non grata in... Oh, that's Syria. I thought it was India for a second. Good command, good security. Regardless, we'll let it go one more cycle, see if anybody else shows up and make a decision next turn on that. Everybody else has their assignments. And once we take that point, we will then abandon Mexico. All right, we definitely need to get Outpost Core done because we're going to want to put that on the moon. So let's go ahead and change management research to Outpost Core.
Yep, so in one day we went, we're already catching them. So we should be able to win that race. And then the big one this turn is going to be her. So we need to make sure that we're keeping an eye on that. The other thing I did to make sure that I was able to fairly easily get in break into the US was uh, public campaigns. And again, aided by the fact that because we're essentially pillaging Singapore, we've got plenty of cash to bump up our odds on that. Hey, Zardis. <laughs> I never realized. Is that the symbol for the Illuminati? All right, so now we need to abandon Mexico. I wonder if being over my CP cap this early on would hurt me that much. Costing me influence 1.6 per day, which is a lot early on. Now I'm going to mitigate that by picking up a new counselor at the end of this cycle. Yeah, I, I, I want to play this as Jeff Bezos's Elon Muskie as I possibly can. Full on. Capitalist dystopia. All right, let's take a look at... Looks like it's all the same options, so nobody new popped up, but at least now we have the influence we need to, to grab them. I think... I think she's the one that I want to go with. The only other choice I would really have is her. What missions does she have? Yeah, public campaign. It's probably the only big one early on anyway. She does have Inspire. Whereas her missions... Stabilize, plus all of the assaults, steal, assassinate, by default assassinate. That's kind of nice. So she would give me nine extra CP. She would give me 12 extra CP. She's also 49. None of these are young. <laughs> Yeah, not a lot of great choices in this pool, I gotta say. This is one of the worst selections of candidates I've seen. But I think I'll go with her for now. And I'll just keep an eye on the candidate pool, see if anybody new comes in. And we'll throw the orgs that were on our other guy. Oh, we're going to have to sell that. We don't have a criminal anymore. Uh, I'll hold on to it, just in case somebody else pops up. So that only got us to 179, which means I think we have to, I think we have to abandon. We'll come back. We'll come back to Mexico later. And then we go for the next two CPs here. Now we're still going to be unable to take the final point. I keep going the wrong way.
All right. And we also need to get a defend mission off, but we don't have the influence for it right now, so we'll have to wait until next turn for that. All right, Kim. Take that next point. Uh-oh, we don't have the influence to, to bump it up. So instead, let's do a public campaign until we can actually make this more successful. All right, and next turn we should have enough to use the influence to grab that fifth spot. Once we have the fifth spot, we don't have to worry this too much about the sixth one because nobody else can take it since we own all the CPs or will own all the CPs. So we're not gonna finish this till May. All right, now we're way ahead, so I'm going to bump that down, and I'm going to bump that up. April, yeah, that's that's better. All right, All right. We're at two thirty-two. There's three hundred and forty still available, so somebody can catch us. Let's bop that down. Bop that up, and bop that up. Make sure to get his reel. <laughs> I'm thinking that this playthrough, because I really liked doing the Caliphate, that I'm going to go... So I'm going to do Greater North America, for sure, at some point. But I want to do the Caliphate instead of the last time I went India and China. Of course, at some point, I'm still going to have to get nukes out of... Uh, get the nukes out of China and out of India. Basically, I want to be the only one who has nukes, but we'll see how it goes. I'm definitely going to be concentrating on research very heavily. Uh, how often does the candidate pool refresh? I'll bet you that's in the... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Somebody's new in here already. Yeah, this one. Speaking of Israel... Eleven. Oh, I'm definitely going to pick her up. I am curious. Does it tell you how often the candidate pool refreshes? Your pool of counselors to recruit will update on the first of every month. All right, so next turn we get rid of her and we pick up the other one. Which means at some point we'll actually be able to pick up Mossad too, if we get that counselor. All 
All right, there's 30. Now here's the problem. I actually do need to get this CP, so it's probably more important to pick that up than it is to pick the counselor up. So hopefully she'll be there after the next cycle. Some new orgs have become available. Anything that we can actually equip? No. We're getting really unlucky with our org rolls. All right, you need to pick up this last CP. All right, so the big one this turn is grabbing that last CP. Hopefully we get a good roll. Let's see if anybody picked up that. She's still there. Did anybody else good show up? This guy's pretty decent too. Seven admin. Eleven. Fifteen versus sixteen. Nine persuasion and 25 loyalty. Jeez, but he's got zero command and zero administration. <laughs> of course. All right, I do want to see. Let's make sure we're still leading here. There's 98 left. Can anybody catch us? Yeah, technically humanity first could, but everybody else is also investing in this. So I think by ticking that down, we'll be okay. And then we'll tick this up. Let's see how that goes. All right, the big one, the one we care about is this one. Come on, give me a good roll. Because this is costing me influence every turn. Boom. Got it. All right. Yeah, we'll keep boost going early game as much as we possibly can. Um, as a matter of fact, I might even... 2.3k, we can afford that. What I can't afford, though, is the 20 influence yet. All right, so now we don't have to worry about... Somebody coming in and taking this CP. Good. So we're ready for the moon. And we want to do... Probably space mining and refining next.
Advanced atomic manipula manipulation is important. Advanced superconductors is also important because we eventually do want to get to uh, magnetic thrusters or whatever it's called. There's a bunch of stuff here that <laughs> would be uh, would be good to start off with. I'm not sure what the optimal choice is. I think that's probably my best bet right now. The other thing I do want to get is to covert ops, which I'm trying to remember which one that is. Chemical rocketry hasn't finished yet. I was kind of hoping we'd get high thrust probes, but they're still working on that one. All right, so we are at 26% here. Who's close to us? The Academy is also investing in this, but so I'll keep it at two pips. I think this is probably a good split right now. Now, the next question is, should I, we're at 48, uh, let's check that counselor. Was she a 30? I can't remember. Yeah, she was a 30. Nobody with high science, he would be the, the next best option at 11, 15. I really like her. It's a nice spread. She has zero security, but we can fix that. And we can also get rid of both of these through augmentation eventually. The only other one to really consider is this guy with nine persuasion, but his the rest of his attributes are garbage. And does anybody have Striver? He has Quick Learner. He's also actually not terrible. It's a pretty nice spread. Uh, what is he's a tycoon? Default missions are fairly useless. Hers aren't great either. Hmm. I feel like it's a roll of the dice. She brings 9.4 extra cash, which isn't a big deal because we own Singapore. 8.5 influence. He brings nothing. He also has... Three bad, no, two bad traits. Either way, we're going to have to spend cash. The only thing he's got going for him is Quick Learner. That's a really good one. He's 41, she's 40, so that's not really a big deal. All 
All right, I think I'm going to go with him. It's probably also helpful. Do I have any other counselors from China? Yeah, I do. I'm really on the fence here. All right, I'm going with her. And... Let's do that just to give her a little bit of security. And please, somebody give me an org. Excuse me. All right. Don't think we need to do any public campaigns right now, but we may not have a choice because it doesn't look like there's anything else for us to do. Although she could, she could advise at 10 influence. That might not be the worst thing. Who is my lowest loyalty? Kim. Can you inspire her? And you are just going to... Go ahead and protect her. I don't know why it would be necessary to do that on an Inspire mission. I don't think anything bad can happen other than critically failing and causing the, the loyalty to go down. All right, I think we've set everything. And how much research are we getting out of here now? A ton. So really now it's just getting our CP up so that we can take the final control point here. Mission to Moon is done, so can we send a probe yet? We sure can. And I think that's the only place we can send a probe to right now. We haven't gotten any other missions done. So we need to build up a little bit of boost so we can build that first base. It might even be worth building a small station. In low Earth orbit. Yeah, for 1.5 boost, we'll have plenty to get to the moon still. And that way we can start getting some research bonuses going. We want to get high thrust probes done before Mars is ready to go, but it should be a while before that happens. We're still at 29%, so that's fine. Still crap orgs. Well, I shouldn't say crap orgs. We just can't afford any of them. I really need to build up some influence.
The other question is, do I want to get rid of one of the U.S. armies? I did that in my last campaign, and I ended up having to just recruit another one eventually anyway. So I think I'm going to keep them all. All right, deep space propulsion com concepts is good. There's 300 left here. We are ahead of the next leading by a hundred. Let's take that down and start putting one in there. That way we might be able to take that over as it gets towards the end. I want to be able to direct as much of the global tech as possible. How are we doing over here? We're almost there. Has it. Still need a hundred influence to get that, and it would provide a bit of extra ops income, which is good. Plus one command, which would also add to our CP. But we need to build up our influence before we can think about it. Are all of my points protected? Oh, shoot, I haven't <laughs> I haven't defended the US. I also didn't notice. Did she actually get the inspire off? Doesn't look like it. GDP is going down. Why is GDP going down? If this finishes on the 26th and All right, so we get first choice. Not a single site with double medals. Well, I guess if we want to start stacking everything, we would take this one. I might actually put two. Oh, wait, we don't have uh, we don't have enough boost yet. Let's pump our boost. Not for long. Just long enough to get ourselves up and running.
Come on, boost. All right, so next up. Arrival economics. Or arrival domestic politics. We don't want mission to Mars yet. And I'm not investing in that at all. Everybody else can invest in that one. You know what? Let's uh I hate spending the influence on this stuff, but I think it's more important that we get our boost up as quickly as possible to get a site settled. Which, why am I not seeing that go up? There it goes. Nope, it still didn't go up. All right, we definitely need to protect Kazakhstan, and I guess that can be used since you don't really have any other skill. Which means we won't be able to do an advise this turn. And, hey, look at that. The Academy's trying to weasel their way in here. Go away, Academy. Does anybody else have enough boost to get there? No. 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 They're the closest. Unless they all did, just used it to set it up. Let's make sure that did not happen. Yeah, we're good. All right, so I'm going to change my priorities back on, on the U.S. then. I think we'll be fine. Yeah, I think we're good.
and building this would cost me 1.5 but so i'm not going to do that yet i want to get my presence established on the moon before i start building out my my halves All right, Kazakhstan is in line. Let me check my priorities over there. Let's go with that. Nice. Uh, how's this going? 121 versus 206, so we're catching them. And one pip seems to be enough here. Let's check. Has anybody leveled up? Oh yeah. You gotta keep an eye on this stuff, man. Plus, he's a quick learner. I could have done this ages ago. All right, that gets us to 20. And he'll be ready to bump another one up here very shortly. And we need 27. Now, obviously, I could release Singapore. But I really want to build up my cash reserves before I do that. I could abandon Singapore and still get the benefits. No, you don't get the benefits if you're cracked or if you abandon. I could just not spend the influence and see how long it takes for somebody else to come in here. Who has boost that I could buy? They have none. And they barely have any. Do they have anything I'd want to buy? So these guys have some orgs. He's got 10k, he's got 3k. It cost me influence to do a contact mission though.
All right, I think we're done in Kazakhstan for now. We're at 171 and we need to catch 233. So we we gained 10. I don't think we're catching him. We are 40 behind. We are 30 something. So we are catching him. Yep, we're slowly catching him. And we're still leading here by enough that we should be able to control that one as well. You definitely get diminishing returns on public campaigns. And we need another month before we can. Okay, this is big. I think we go 100% into that once these two are done. Uh, these two. Still nothing. Two hundred. The only one I would want here would be Sea Dragon. And that's a hundred influence. Money is fine. We can spend that. I don't want to spend any other resources right now. I would like to meet somebody from the Academy. Bezilbeck. Uh, yeah, you know what, actually? Uh, must have flown to Israel? Or somebody who's a rival of Israel? That's another thing I need to start thinking about, but it costs influence to adjust your allies and rivals. Uh, you know what? He should have leveled up by now. Nope, 16. All right, we caught them. 
This is about to end and nobody can catch us, so let's knock that down and knock that up. And then we're just about ready to settle the moon. All right, so. Vasmir drive. One thing I did want to think about was creating like a Corvette or something that just had a a science lab on it that I could send out to the outer planets earlier than I could send a probe or even like to Ceres. Yeah, I think advanced superconductors is what we want next. Let me look at my chart. Arrival economics. No, nope, we're going to do nuclear fission in space. And I am now going to full on do nothing but my own projects. And we need to get an engineering org for one of our counselors. And we need to get to, I think that's it. Covert ops, we need to get to covert ops. Speaking of which, I should continually check these just to make sure nobody really awesome shows up. Is this Valerie? What's her name? Yep, I've had her before. She's good. Quick learner. I hate to keep cycling out my uh, my candidates, though, my council, because then they never... She brings 5.1 research, 6 influence, and 1 money, plus she's a quick learner. I think she's still better. She might be better than him, though. He's not offering me much right now. Three, nine. Yeah, she's already better than he is from a CP standpoint. Yeah, I think I'd dump him and go with her. He is going to cost me 60 influence, but yeah, what are you going to do? Because what does he offer? He offers some decent 
default missions, but we can replace all that stuff with orgs. Hello, Valerie. Let's make sure there's nobody better. That is quite the beard. Ah, criminal. Nope, I think it's Valerie. She brings a lot to the table right out of the gate, plus she's a quick learner. Oh, you know what? Did I forget to remove his org? Did I have an org on him? I don't remember. Alright, so that puts us at... I think we're at a spot where we can go ahead and take that CP next turn because these two are going to be leveling up. Almost there. I think we need 9.1. Take a quick look. And we were going to do this one first, I think. Yep, we can do it now. Just nine. All right, we're good to go there. I could go ahead and protect Singapore again. Actually, no, I can't because I need you. To. Finish taking control of the US. Why is that so low? Is it worth the extra 12% or should I try it at 16 two turns in a row at 40%? I could always come save it. Because this is important.
Yeah, let's go ahead and protect Singapore, I guess. That sweet, sweet cash. And over here, we're now done up here for a bit until we get all of the techs we need researched, locally researched. Yep, all things that we want. Nice. Yep, we went up to 57%. That critical success on the uh, public campaign helped quite a bit. There we go. All right, we now control the US and we're still two points off our CP cap, but that should be fine. I want this to be at 20%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, how many armies that does that give us? That gives us five. I think I'm just gonna keep them all. Jama is Lamia, who do you? Nah. All right, that fixes my CP problem. We are now at cap. And we should be good to go for a while here now. I don't think I need to defend this. Not right away. And are there any policies that we want to set? Are we, we're not at war with anybody. And we can't do any of this until we actually build up a nice safe buffer of influence. So I think it's mostly just going to be public campaigns for a while. And advise missions. I'm going to put... I'm actually going to put her on advise permanently here. Do I want to defend the point? I probably should.
and it's peaceful. She does not have public campaign, so maybe I put her on advise since that's all she can do. And have you do public campaign. Yep, no orgs until we get, oh, that would be nice. Can't get it though. No counselors from Russia. And then this gives us boost prior to 20%. Which finishes next cycle. Do I want to build anything here? I think I have enough boost to throw a solar collector on there. Just barely. Same thing, we'll have to do that when we get back to 1.5 for our moon hab. This might be the unluckiest run we've had with um, the availability of any decent orgs early on. Come on. It's interesting, nobody's come down to take Mexico. We will have to kick the protectorate out of Canada. Why is my GDP going down? Please, let there be a decent one. Nope. I mean, this is a good one, but we need 200 influence to get it. So we're just going to have to wait. Nobody leveled up, right? So we are on public campaign kick. I forgot to make that assignment permanent for her. Uh, you know what? You can go to ground. Maybe I just have everybody go to ground for a while while we build up some resources. Because every advise mission is 10 influence per turn. I think I'm just going to build my influence up, grab that Lawrence Livermore. And then we'll start assigning people again. All right, let's go ahead and build. First of all, I need to make sure I'm managing these solar collector takes 6.7 boost a long way
And we've got a research project finishing this turn, which will help quite a bit with our boost income. Ooh, finished it. Extra science and an extra 100 influence. So we'll be able to get Lawrence Livermore next cycle, I think. Maybe even this cycle. All right, next up, Supply Depot. Let's do interplanetary warships. I want to see if I can design like a really cheap ship to, that I can launch out with just an engine and a science hab. We're waiting for this to get to 200. Good lord, two turns in a row? Does that 20% increase not apply until next turn? Oh, I forgot to <laughs> make everybody's assignment permanent. Uh, so stay, go to ground. As a matter of fact, you know what? You can go to ground too. Everybody knows who you are. All right, uh, next up. Do I want to finish the social science lab? No, space dock. We want space dock. Now, I'm really curious because we haven't researched any tech, right? So yeah, we don't have anything we could send into the outer solar systems yet. Not only that, but we don't have any resources to build this stuff yet. So irrelevant. All right, we're waiting for this to get to 200. Don't think these need to be repeated next turn because we should be at 200, which means we can pick up. There it is. Assuming it's still there, Lawrence Livermore, and it is. All right, so it's going to cost us a little bit of cash, but we're still killing it over in uh, Singapore. And that will give us 35 science and an engineering plus two science per turn. This should go on. You, I think. Or you. What's the WHO give? Three science per turn, 230, forget that. 
All right, that will really pump our science output out up. And we're waiting for this to get to nine-ish boost. This will be the next one that we take once space dock finishes, which will be next cycle. And then once it pops, we need to do outpost mining complex. And get that going on the moon so we aren't running a deficit. Again, that's where boost is going to be very important. So things should start to snowball here at some point all right here we go here we go now we've got a little luck all right so that gives us 1.75 boost one science i'm going to put this on valerie and it adds to our cp cap and then this gives us Public campaign, which she does not have. Influence, science, influence, and money. I'm sorry, persuasion, science, influence, and money. And this is where owning Singapore comes in really handy, building up that cash reserve. All right, so we're going to start stacking boost now. That doubled my boost output. Is unrest high here? It is. I should consider that, even though we have abandoned it. All right, and we've got enough influence now that I can stick you on permanent advise here. Let's go stabilize Mexico. This finishes this turn, so we can start. Commercial rocket companies next. Uh, why can I not do permanent assignment? Because I don't have enough, dang it, influence to permanently assign. I do now. <laughs> All right, next up we need Covert Ops, which requires, remind me, requires something that I don't think has been researched yet globally. Uh, quantum encryption. Quantum computing. Advanced atomic manipulation, photonic computing, good lord, advanced carbon manipulation. So we need, which one of these is a global tech though? I think only this one. Advanced atomic manipulation.
That's not a global tech either. There it is. It is a global tech. So it does require photonic computing first and advanced carbon manipulation. So we need to try and get those set. That's our public opinion. We're still highest in Mexico, which is good. Has anybody leveled up? Not yet. All right, next up is commercial rocket companies, which again increases our boost and reduces the amount that we need to go to the moon and places beyond. Oh, no, no. Commercial Rocket is the new faction, or the new org. This is what we want next. We bump that. Actually, we keep that up until this finishes, and then we start pumping back into global research again. Yeah, this one finishes this cycle anyway, because it's only 100. We're already at 714. All right, next we want we want that org for sure. Ah, crap. All right, well, we aren't repairing it right now. Am I allowed to build this in space? No, I can only build on Earth. I want to get that moon module done first. Which we should be able to do next month. Oh, somebody started mission to Mars. All right, now you can go on, not you, you, you. Should be able to do permanent advise now. Wow. All right. That takes 48 influence. Does it give anything? It gives advice and 3% to knowledge. That's not terrible for a one star. but don't think I'll do that. And we want to go we'll see who else is pumping points into it. I wonder if I should do this one. We could probably catch them. Seven per day, 10 per day, 
finishes in December. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, we're definitely catching them. I don't want Mission to Mars to be done that quickly, though. Uh, I guess we don't have a choice. We should be the first ones to send a probe there, although we never did get uh, advanced thrust pro or high thrust probes as a project, which is a bummer. Oh, shoot. Yeah, and this is why you need administrative orgs. It's really helpful to get that CP up early. We can't get either one of those, though. Ooh, this is good. 120 influence. We should hit that. Why are... Oh, we're losing influence because of Mexico. We need to abandon it again. So I would like to get this. Once we get to 120, that'll take just under a month. And then this should be ready to go to the moon very shortly. Oh, come on! 30% chance that I have to pay three boost. Seventy percent chance we only pay cash. I hate those events. <laughs> <laughs> seriously who's hijacking me all right this is next once we finish that and have we just we've just about overtaken the academy here so i think we'll be the ones who complete this first if not i'll pump this down a little bit So we're 25, 44 behind. And now we are 14, 38. Yeah, we're catching up. Okay, we're ready to build on the moon. Oh, it's only 4.9. That's right, we finished that tech. I forgot. So we can continue to build a little bit of boost. Doesn't really matter though, since we still have to research mining stations, but that's what gets built next. And then let's throw a... Military science? Because this gives me a bonus to my mill tech which I do want to make sure this time I don't fall behind on. Let's 
gives 10 power and these use 5 power. All right, we're good on boost. And we take over tomorrow, I think. Yep, there it goes. I haven't looked at Kazakhstan in a while. How's it doing? Seems to be doing all right. I like that split better. I do want it to grow. And we are still waiting for our influence to creep up here a little bit to grab UN Office for Outer Space Affairs. So we hit that at 120, which should be this cycle. Should be. Yeah, boost is now starting to stack well. We should have plenty to send a probe to Mars, get that started once that is finished. Apparently we're gonna have a lot of stuff upcoming to investigate. All right, so now that now that we are ahead by quite a bit, can I bump that down by one and stay in the lead and bump this up by one? Hey, November 12th. That's today. And Mexico is back to being peaceful. Public opinion's good. Probably ought to start working on public opinion in Canada. He doesn't get one until 16. But we do have a bunch of people almost ready to add to their CP. All right, we can now acquire the UN Office for Space Affairs. And we also need to investigate a bunch of alien activity. All right, how are we doing? 402, the next closest is the Academy at 300. I think we're fine there. 
So now we just need to catch them, which we are on our way to doing. Any other orgs coming up that we might want? Nothing that we can actually buy. We're investigating that now, so that should trigger an event. Nope. Wonder why. I thought that triggered an event, but I guess not. Good. Photonic computing. That needs to be completed. All right. What finished? Solar collector on the moon, so now we just need to research mining complex. And then both of our military science labs finished. Is mining complex available yet? Yes. So we can start that this cycle. All right, Mexico is back to being pacified. That's strange. We just investigated that. I guess it didn't trigger the event. Because it was after the assignment? All right, mining complex, you are next. And that finishes next month. Are we catching them? We're 106 behind. We are now still 106 behind, so we need Less here, more here. We'll keep an eye on this too. I think that keeps us ahead of everybody there. Yeah, the protectorate is full on in this one. But now we're catching them. There it is. There's the... The mission. Bear with me, chat. It's my birthday today. I've got a bunch of people asking to take me out to places.
All right, what do we got? Kazakhstan expired. We do want to defend that. Who only has defend missions? Nobody only has defend or oh wait you do. We'll have you defend Kazakhstan this turn. And we're still good for another month before we need to defend here again. I haven't looked at Kazakhstan. Is it still... Yeah, I guess we could use a couple of stabilized missions here. Maybe a public campaign over there, too. Sure, why not? All right, we've got some level ups here. Get that CP cap up. Ooh, 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 ooh. We have projects, science. We want them all, we want them all. This gives Surveil, steal, and investigate alien activity. Who has high command? You do. Why can't we put this on you? Oh, because you don't have the capacity for it. Can we give you the capacity for it? We can. So this gives surveil, steal, and investigate. You already have Investigate Alien Activity. You do not have Steel Project or Surveil Location. And then this needs to go on somebody. Because we want this as well. Plus it gives us more admin, which is going to add to our CP. Do I just want to keep pumping Valerie up? I think I do. All right, so that'll pump our CP cap up next turn. Anybody else level up? Yes. And you've also leveled up. I kind of want to pump her science more, but I still want to add CP cap. So I'm going to go admin, command, and persuasion with her. All right, now we can start thinking about holding on to Mexico. We'll see what our CP cap looks like next turn. But science is starting to roll now. Oh, I didn't even realize. Oh, that's because we added the engineering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll change this to... Oh, shoot. We finished commercial rocket companies. I haven't looked at my unequipped orgs. I'm missing out on boost.
All right, Kazakhstan is back to pacification. I suppose I could throw some cash into their space flight program and just finish that. Oh, no, I can't because I abandoned it. How are we doing here? We're still leading. Can anybody catch us? There's 120 left. And they're 100 behind. I don't think they can catch us. All right, everything looks good over here now. Am I actually catching them? I'm 330 something behind. Nine percent, five percent GDP and Miltech. Good. Yeah, so she's not a very good. Won't have her do that anymore. Now I am... Um... Three hundred behind there. And what do we want next? That was Mars, right? Uh, remind me. Yeah, we want to get to quantum computing, so we need advanced carbon manipulation. Is it necessary for me to control what comes after this? I don't think it is, because they're already doing photonic computing, which needs to finish first, and I don't think it will. Oh, yeah, it will. August. No, it won't. August, Fed. This one will finish first. Nope, this one will finish first. This didn't go up as much as I thought it would. Also, why is my boost only at 4.5? I should be higher than that now, I thought.
Uh, we are waiting for a mining complex to come online. Here we go. Investigation, a little bit more science. So who has... the most need for investigation you're the best at it but do you have any yeah you don't have any missions that are complementary to it you can't because you don't have the capacity for it You have the capacity for it, but you don't have the missions. That would help for Crackdown. We'll give it to you. Make sure we're still catching up here. We are, but I don't think we're actually going to catch them in time. I don't really have anything for you to do now. So you can go to ground for now. Mexico is almost done with space flight. Is anybody leveled up? No. Unless, are you a quick learner? All right, good. That's good. Are we going to catch them? We are now. And we need to go to the moon. What does it require? 41 boost. Got a long way to go. Are you kidding me? Do I want to impose sanctions on China? <laughs> All right, we catch, we just caught them. And now we're pulling ahead. So let's go ahead and tick that by one. We are still pulling ahead. Take that by one.
All right, well, that didn't work last turn, so why don't you go ahead and do that? Singapore has expired. That'll be your job. The American Mafia. I don't have a criminal. Nothing else that we would want. This one might be decent. We do have a counselor from there. How much does it cost? 120 influence. Eh, we'll see. All right, there it goes. Now we're not getting any benefits from it because we abandoned it. We really need CP cap. All right, nobody can catch us here. Do we want to invest in photonic computing? Would we be able to catch at 14 per day? Eh, probably not. There's 400 left. Actually, they could catch us technically. So let's do that. You're going to need to go to ground. Everybody's going to need to go to ground soon, except for you. New orgs, huh? Here we go. Public campaign. Alien assault. Who doesn't have public campaign? You. You're also at your max. I could move this... Or I could move this. I could move this to Valerie, I think. Yeah. Let's do that. Who has alien assault? Only her. So she's going to be the one we have to rely on here, which means we're going to need to pump her command next time we get a chance.
All right, and we pick the next one here. So once again, let's take a look at the tech tree. That's just about done. That's just about done. This is what we want to select, but we can't. All right, so I guess next up we do Arrival International Relations so we can start thinking about... Unity movements. And we don't need to invest in that at all. Will we be able to catch them? There's only a thousand left and they're 400 ahead. Probably not. So we have to wait for the next cycle to come around. Let's get some local stuff done. Do any of these grant engineering unlocks? I don't think they do. Not until you get to the next. All right, let's do institutional outreach then. Let's either that or supply depot. I think we do institutional outreach next. And then also management research to get our CP up so that we can control Mexico next time it comes around and get some actual benefit from it. Georgetown in Guyana. Not surprisingly, the servants are there. Critical failure? Come on. We don't want the WHO. It costs way too much. As good as it is for science, I don't want to start running a deficit this early. Has anybody leveled up? No. Oh wait, he is quick learner, but he's only at 12. Oh, look, people are starting to come over here and try and disrupt my country. Yeah, we don't have a lot of ops income here, so until we can bump her command up, Resistance, you need to go away.
That's better. This is still only at 19. We needed 46 or something like that to get our mining operation up. All right, good. Since we don't have a lot of ops income right now. Okay, good. Completing stuff, always good. All right, our control point came uncovered, so we're going to have to have somebody reset that. And actually, I think that's where I'm going to call it an episode for today. Yeah, it's 11 o'clock. So that's where we'll pick it up next time. As always, appreciate everybody who stopped by to take a look today. Thanks, chat, for keeping it entertaining. Love you guys. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those down below. If you're new here, just stumbled across the channel, do please hit that subscribe button for me. It does help grow the channel. It doesn't cost you anything. And we'll see you back here for the next episode.